Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you that have already subscribed, thanks for joining us back for a new video. For those that are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video for us to get more followers and subscribers and to share more of the information that we know. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing um, how to take care of your plants using some organic Monterey BT. Um, and this is a biological insecticide that we have here. Um, so I'm just gonna show how to actually use that to protect your plants if you have an infestation or if you notice that you have your zucchini plants or squash plants being attacked by any pest. So let's get into the video. So Monterey BT from my research that I've done is a biological insecticide, which means that the components of this chemical are derived from components in nature. Species that eat certain pests, those the chemicals they produce are taken from them, extracted, and then put into a formula, which becomes this product. And so we're gonna be using this today. I'm gonna show you how to use it. I've already read the instructions. Um, I already have my hand sprayer here with me. And so let's get into it. The instructions call for um, at least two fluid ounces of your Monterey BT per three gallons. Um, so in our container here, it holds up to a gallon of gallon of water. And I'm adding in at least four teaspoons of the Monterey BT. Um, so I just pour it in the cap. You can see I'm having a little problem there opening the bottle. But I just pour in the four um, teaspoons, which I just pour in the cap of the bottle into the gallon of water. So with spraying the Monterey BT, you want to make sure that you thoroughly spray your plants um, wherever you're using it in your garden. You want to make sure that you're not using it during the day. Um, just in case you have bees in your garden or butterflies or other beneficial um, insects, which if you don't know what beneficial insects are, you can watch the video right here um, at the top of this video. Um, but you don't want to harm any other beneficial insects, beneficial insects in your garden. So just spray in the evening. Thoroughly spray your plants, all of the leaves, the base of the plant, all the growing fruit everywhere um, just to get a good saturation. And before the rain starts coming down really hard, we wanted to show you guys why we're even trying um, this biological insecticide. Um, and this is why. So I'm holding it far from my face because it stinks. But uh, this is one of our zucchini plants that was growing very well um, for the past three weeks. And it was halfway to maturity for me to harvest. And I was getting ready to harvest it last week. But I noticed that the um, backside started like turning soft and mushy. Um, I kept my eye on it. That's why I ordered the um, Monterey BT product from Amazon and got it shipped um, through the Prime account so that it could get here faster. So that's why I kept an eye on this, just to see if I could save it. But unfortunately, you can, as you can see, the pest, the cabbage worm that attacked the plants put holes all through it, as you can see here, and then it ate through the back. And so it's clearly more than just one worm doing it. It's probably multiple. Um, and I'll put a picture here of what it looks like because uh, a cabbage that a zucchini that we harvested last week I was actually going to give it away to a family But then I noticed that it was holes in it And so I cut it open and I found two of the cabbage worms and so I just put it in the compost I killed the bug the worms, but I put the, um, the actual plant in the compost so that's two zucchinis down. We've only harvested one zucchini from our plants. 
And so it's kind of sad to see your plants just die off as they get closer to maturity. But I mean, that's the life of a gardener. With this video, we hope that you learn something about biological insecticides, learn something on how to protect your plants if you start to see a certain infestation of pests. Um, I would say make sure that once you start seeing your zucchinis, cucumbers, squash growing, before they get their flowers, make sure you cover them with your um, garden fabric there because that will really stop um, any infestation from really attacking your plants that are coming into your garden. We hope that you learned something today. Um, and make sure you watch more videos, watch more content, and make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification to be notified of when we post new videos. Um, and we will see you later in the garden. Bye.